So this is quite big and quite serious. I've seen this news, at least I've seen the headlines, and I thought it was untrue. And the headlines were, Apple will start scanning the phones, its iPhones, for photos. And I was like, no way. And then I delve deeper into what were they scanning for, and now I understand the different perspectives and views, and I thought it's a good idea to look at the real reason behind the backlash surrounding Apple's new system that will be introduced in iOS 15 that will scan the photos in an iPhone. So before we talk about the different perspectives, we need to talk about what this system, what the system is actually doing. And um, this is a system that is going to be introduced in iOS 15 and in the future, I guess, which scans locally the photos that are uh, set to be uploaded to Apple's um, photo storage solution in the cloud, iCloud. So before any photo is uploaded to iCloud, it's going to be scanned by the phone and it's going to be cross-referenced with data, metadata, from the US National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. And if there is a match between photos in an individual's phone and a missing person, a data from the US National Center of Missing and Exploited Children, it will notify the relevant authorities. And um, how it does this is, there is a local system on the iPhone that uses metadata, so just a hash, um, a string of numbers that detects if there is any inappropriate um, explicit photos that might need reporting to the relevant authorities. So in that system, there is also a feature that uh, scans messages of any iPhone user who is a child. And if they receive something that might be harmful, it will trigger a response from the iPhone to telling you or telling the child that you should maybe inform your parent, maybe this is not, sen this is not uh, sensible or it's very sensitive, so you might not want to watch this. So, in essence, the objective, of course, is noble. You want to protect people as much as possible, and I am all for, and many people are, protecting the vulnerable, and in this case, they are children. And this is uh, working with some um, organizations which tackle this issue head first, and you can see that this will imply there will be less of these online crimes and also it might resolve some crimes that happened before. But the controversy here is, the backlash by some people is, when you look at it from a technology point of view, now you're a company that makes technology and if you have, if you grant access to a system that Apple claims will never communicate with any government or with Apple themselves or with any party. It is done purely locally on your phone with strings and then just pass the test. If that system exists that scans all photos, can it be used for other purposes? Can it be used to scan other things, um, whether it's politics related, whether it's um, advertisement related? You can see how starting this might uh, lead to different gates in which scanning photos will be controversial. So um, Apple already said it will refuse any governmental demand to use the system for surveillance. And um, obviously that's a good thing. But um, whether it is safe to build a system that scans any kind of data locally, in the long run, that's where people might be hesitant. Let's say, for example, it's something like a minor crime. Let's say somebody uses uh, the phone to take pictures of shoes and then make illegal copies of it. Now, that crime, will that be scanned in the future? Will that be well, for example, Nike, apply pressure to Apple. Please show us if there's someone who is making knockoff phones. Or it can be also 
um, an identifiable thing. Uh, let's say someone has gone missing and you use that system to identify where, they are, where, 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 where this person is. You can see where they've been going and let's say the police department asks for this data and will they get it? For now it's saying no. And, um, but scientists, like in this article on Sky News, Dr. Green is saying this will break the dam. Governments will demand it from everywhere. And by the time we find out it was a mistake, it will be way too late. But uh, the opposite end, the support is that this crime, this specific crime of child safety can be only be combated if we really um, go through and combat the system, at, uh, the, the, the current technology directly. And um, according to John Clark, the president and chief executive of NCMEC, he's saying we can only do this because technology partners like Apple step up and make the dedication known. Um, the secretary, home secretary of the UK also tweeted that he is delighted to see Apple taking meaningful action to tackle child sexual abuse. So obviously, in terms of its pure essence, why this exists is completely positive. But would this bring other systems forward for other apps? For example, they might use that data, let's say, for example, other platforms. It is worth noting that Apple already did this, where they refuse to provide the service if it doesn't uh, adhere to their privacy rules. For example, in a country that doesn't allow uh, encrypted phone calls, Apple removes the FaceTime app. So it remains to be seen what exactly happens. But when I saw this headline, I was like, this has to be false. And then I was uh, more understanding when I saw the real reason behind it, because yes, we need to get rid of that dark side of using technology. And if this is one way to do it that is safe, we should do it to combat all the obvious um, implications on children and other vulnerable people. But I can also see how some scientists or uh, computer scientists or hackers can look at this and say, oh, is there a way I can break through this system and use it for other gains as well. So it really comes down to trust. And who do you trust with your data? Who do you trust with your things? In this case, I would say it's more than okay for a company to scan through photos, to identify these people, to help uh, save lives potentially, and much more really. But uh, with what can I trust who exactly and when does this line cross? It's like a surveillance, sur uh, the normal debate about a surveillance system. Let's say in the house you set up cameras inside. Do you feel like you're being treated as a criminal even though you did nothing? Or are you okay with the just in case something happens there are cameras around filming? It just it is something like that and of course there are things that are different to this um, uh, analogy, but definitely it's a very controversial one. And where do you strike the balance between surveillance and privacy? I mean, it's a very complicated topic indeed. You might have used one way or another, but uh, in general, I hope that this system provides the good it, provo pro it promises and um, doesn't come up with any uh, negative uh, implications that might be quite uh, destructive. Anyway, Apple is a big, big company and they, if they make these moves, they're, the good thing is they're under many, many eyeballs who will analyze and criticize whatever move they make. And I hope the people in charge are smart enough to deal with this in a very useful way. Anyway, this has been this, has been this week's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Tell me what you think and see you next week. Goodbye.